The following story is from my book, Dear Frickin' Fear, which is a kind of a gathering of short stories and meditations. Um, And I wanted to read this one to you. It's called A Speedboat Called Surrender. I hope you enjoy. As I was dozing on a blanket beside a beautiful lake, I was startled by the sound of boat engines and people yelling. I sat up quickly and tried to focus. It was a crazy sight. Hundreds of speedboats raced along the huge lake with people being pulled behind them. At first I thought it was some sort of water skiing tournament, but as I looked closely I realized most of them didn't have skis. As I regained my bearings, I saw some of them had swum to shore and were gathered together. They began to yell out to people still being dragged mercilessly behind boats, Let go! This chant continued and got louder as more people swam to shore and joined them. One of the waterlogged individuals who had just emerged from the lake walked past me to join the crowd. Excuse me, hey... I'm sorry, would you mind if I asked you a question? I called. She stopped and walked closer to me, still panting a bit. Yeah, sure, go ahead. What the heck is going on around here? I asked her. Crazy, huh? Well, all I know is what happened to me. I was walking along the beach and saw another lady wearing something I didn't think was appropriate. Apparently, the look on my face reflected what I was thinking because the lady... I was judging, spotted me, and shot me an angry look. Then I looked down, and there was this rope on the ground. I felt a strong desire to reach down and grab onto it, and just as I did, I heard a jet boat engine rev up. Before I realized it, I was being dragged out into the water, and for the life of me, I couldn't let go of the rope. It was so strange. But here's the kicker. Even through all of that, The only thing I could think about was how the lady shouldn't have been dressed that way. (laughs) Holy moly, that's so weird. How did you end up escaping, I asked. Well, I heard the people here on the beach yelling for me to let go. I tried forcing my hands to release the rope, but I ended up face first in the water, drinking half the lake. Then it dawned on me. I was attached to that thought about the lady's attire. That was keeping me attached to the rope. When I released the thought and accepted that it was none of my business, the rope freed me. The boats look like they're speeding up, I pointed out. Oh yes, the longer I was out there, the faster the boat seemed to go. See that boat going super fast way out there? She pointed to a vessel way out on the lake, speeding so fast that the person behind it was flying all over the place. Yes, I see it. Poor fella. That's my husband. He saw two guys holding hands while walking on the beach. I think he's going to be out there a while. I suppose there's little we can do to change people's thoughts and beliefs about things, besides encouraging them to let go, eh? I offered. Yes, especially when they are stubborn and insistent on their way, she replied, grinning as she watched her soaked spouse bouncing around. Oh, look, someone got one hand to let go, I cried. My chat companion whipped her head around to see what I was talking about. Nice, she's halfway there. I did the same thing. I got one hand loose as I was letting go of the thought, but it was only half gone. I had myself convinced that I had released my judgment on her, but another part of me was still whispering that she looked hideous. Wow, what gave you the final nudge to let go completely? When I realized it wasn't her I was judging, I remember being ridiculed when I was a young girl and we visited the neighborhood swimming pool. Some of the boys made fun of the design of my swimsuit. Several of my friends joined in laughing with them, and I hated how that made me feel. So I've always been harsh on myself and tried to make sure I dressed in a way that would be acceptable to everyone. 
We are complex creatures, aren't we? I wonder what is triggering your husband, I pondered. I know some of what drives his fear. His brother was thrown out of the house by his stepfather when he was 16 because they found out he was gay. His brother had told me how fearful my husband was being thrown out of the house too, and he was only 12 when it all happened. So the gay couple he saw was a reminder of his fear of being rejected and of his guilt for ignoring his brother for many years. It just might be time for us to have his brother over for some dinner and reconciliation. Her smile grew. As we looked out upon the lake full of boats and people, I asked, how is any of this possible? You're dreaming, silly. Just as she said it, I was startled awake by some screaming kids on a blanket a few feet away. The thought entered my head that those parents should have better control over their children, and I immediately heard the loud roar of a speedboat engine. What's this? A rope? I hope you enjoyed the story and enjoy the water adventure. (laughs) You take care.